What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jimmy here. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me what kind of computer do I need to run all of these industrial design programs? And if you guys haven't seen it yet, I've also created a video where I talk about which programs that I specifically use to create my work every single day. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check that out. The links should be down at the bottom after this video. But I've been pretty hesitant to answer this question just because I know that those that are wondering probably want me to talk about specific computer parts like 6700K processor or 1080 GTX graphics card. We're not going to be talking about the specific parts, but what I want to talk about more is is a tower going to be okay? Does it have to be specced out? Or how about a laptop? Was that okay? Let's talk about that. What is best for industrial design? Not only are laptops okay to use for industrial design work, they're actually preferred because you see, I've noticed that a lot of industrial designers, we get very mobile. We're gonna be going to class, we're gonna be going to another class, we're gonna be going to the printers to get some prints done, we're gonna be going to uh, freelance gigs, and then we're gonna go to work. It'll be nice to have a laptop to be able to have all your files, all your programs, all your settings, and be able to go and get work done wherever you're at. Obviously, we know that towers can be a lot more powerful, and that thing is going to be good to have around, but obviously, you're going to be limited to where the tower is located. So, what I have to say about that is first, get that laptop because you're going to be using that about 85% of the time. And then if you have a little money left over, definitely have the tower at home so that you can use for more intensive purposes, more renderings and things like that. That is probably the ideal setup. But what I've seen other people use other than laptops is actually Surface Pros. Surface Pros are nothing more than just a tablet with a little bit higher specs and it runs full on Windows. And I've seen people use them. They seem to work perfectly fine. So if you want to go down that route, go right ahead. I actually was thinking about doing that myself. So if you're on the market and about to get a new computer, I highly recommend it being a laptop so that you can take your work on the go. But if you already have a laptop, then go ahead and build that tower so that you can have that extra horsepower for whenever you need it. And of course, guys, to make sure that all of your programs are on one operating system, such as Mac or Windows, because it's going to be annoying if for some reason you got a Mac and 99% of your programs that you use are going to be on Mac, but then that one program is on uh, Windows, you're, you should probably just switch over to Windows and get the Windows versions of all of your programs so that you can just work in one operating system instead of having to switch back and forth. But if you use Mac dedicated programs and Windows dedicated programs and you don't want two different computers, go ahead and get a Mac computer and you could boot camp it and what boot camp is is essentially installing windows onto your mac so that you can restart your computer run any windows program you want and then restart it again if you want to use your mac applications and that's about it that's what i do i've been doing that for three years now running final cut pro and my personal use on my mac side and then doing all my industrial design programs on my windows side and that's just a really great system for me all right guys well i hoped you learned a thing or two today hit that thumbs up button if you did also leave a comment down below if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about any other suggestions topics go ahead and leave it in the comments also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that my videos come right to you and i will catch you guys in the next video peace <laughs>